hello friends in today's video i'm going to show you how to create a basic salary sheet using microsoft excel this is the sample salary sheet that we are going to create today let me brief what is included in this table first there are 12 columns in this table the first and second columns are EMP number, that is employee's number and the name. The next column is basic salary and the other one is allowances. Next one is gross salary. I have added three reductions here. EPF, this is employee's contribution, loan installment, salary advance and I have added the total deductions column as well. And the next one is net salary. And there are other two columns, EPF, Employer's Contribution, and ETF, Employee's Trust Fund. At the bottom, I have taken the totals as well. Okay, let's get started to create this type of a salary sheet. First, we have to open a blank Excel sheet. Let me draw the table quickly. We'll say the heading is Salary for the month of November the columns are first column is EMP number name basic salary allowances Gross salary, next one is deductions, EPF, 8%. Deductions column net salary EPF twelve per cent ETF three per cent. Leave some space to add data and I will enter the totals here. Now let me format this table. Okay, format is almost done. Now this is the table looks like. Now we will see how to enter the data to this sheet. We we'll see employee number one, name Peter. Okay, if you want to add more information here. You can insert a new column like this, keep the cell here and right click and click insert. You can add more information of the employee here, I'll undo it. And next column is basic salary, we'll say basic salary equals 50,000, right here the allowances, we'll say it's 10,000. Here also if you want to add more allowances. You can insert a new column. I have taken only one allowance here. Next column is gross salary. I am going to enter a formula here. Gross salary is the summation of the basic salary and the allowances. So I will enter the sum function here. Select the cell in which you want to enter the formula and then go to form tab. You can see there's some formula here you have to show the area this is basic salary plus allowances enter here you can see gross salary the 50,000 plus 10,000 is equals to 60,000 the next column is EPF 
This is employees contribution to the provident fund. In Sri Lanka it is 8%. This is deducted from employee salary. So I'm going to enter another another formula for this as well. Select the cell equals. The EPF is normally calculated on basic salary. So you have to select basic salary into 8% and enter. See you can see the EPF is 50,000 into 8% that is 4,000. You have to manually enter the loan installment figure. We will say it is 1,250 and salary advance if there is any you have to enter here. I will say it is 10,000 salary advance. Next column is total deductions column. I am going to enter another formula for this column as well. Total deductions is the summation of all the deductions. Here EPF plus loan installment and salary advance. I will enter the summation formula here. Select the cell and take the sum function. Select the area and enter. The total deductions are 15,250. Next one is net salary. This is the take home salary. The formula is equals. The net salary is equal. Gross salary minus all the deductions. That comes to 44,750. The next column is EPF. This is employer's contribution to the provident fund. In Sri Lanka, it is 12%. It is also calculated on basic salary. So the formula is equal to basic salary into 12%. Enter. That is 6,000. And the other column is ETF. This is employee's trust fund. In Sri Lanka, it is 3%. Then ETF equals to basic salary into 3%. Here you have to remember these two expenses are not deducted from employee salary. It should be bared by the employer on behalf of the employee. So I have kept those two separately. I can get the formula for totals here. Here also I can enter the sum formula. Select the range. Enter. If you want to copy this sum function to the other cell, you have to select this cell and you can see there's a small plus mark at the lower right corner of this cell you have to drag forward okay now I will enter another entry and we'll see what will happen before you enter another entry you have to copy the formulas that you have entered to the bottom cells as well like this EPF also we entered formula and total deductions, net salary, EPF and ETF we have entered for me, so you have to copy down. Now I am going to enter another entry. Let's say it's EMP number equals 2 and the employee is David. We'll say basic salary equals to 40,000. Here you can see, once I entered the basic salary figure, the other columns, the values of the other columns that we entered formula are automatically getting changed. Here I will highlight these columns right I will show it again now I'm going to enter the basic salary that is 40,000 here gross salary becomes 40,000 because there are no allowances we haven't entered yet EPF is calculated 8% deductions we have here only one deductions that is why the 3200 net salary gross salary minus Total deductions, EPF 12% and ETF 3%. The allowances you have to enter manually. We say it is 5000 and loan installment also you have to enter manually. So it is 1500. There is any salary advance, 5000. Once we entered new figures, you can see that total values are also got changed. This is the end of the video. If you like my video, please consider subscribing.